everybody, welcome back to Daily Easy English Expression, the video. Today I need to thank you, uh, several of you specifically, for becoming my new patron, for sponsoring me, for investing. Without your support, I couldn't be here. I'd have to go get a job and it would be very difficult to make as many videos as I do and podcasts, so I do need your help. So I'm going to thank those people. And I'll tell you how you can become a sponsor, too, at the end of this video. Today's expression is, to be underhanded. To be underhanded. Yeah, um, I don't like that. I'll give you an example. Uh, there was a site that offered its services, you know, business services, give you some information, teach you some statistics, give you statistics. And they said, we'll give you one week for free. One week free. Okay, cool. Uh, let me try. So I, I went and I signed up and they asked for your credit card information. And I'm thinking, oh boy, I'm, I'm a little bit nervous about the giving my credit card because what if they charge me? Getting a refund is usually really difficult, but I gave it to them. And they said seven days free. Uh, it was a Monday. I don't remember what time. Uh, but what they did was they charged me from the beginning. And, and basically, what was it? It's like $30 a month, $30 a month. So what is that, 15? That's $7.50. So what they did is they charged me $22.50. They charged me for three weeks, one week free. And so at the end of, I think after three or four days, I decided, no, I don't want it, and I quit. But I didn't cancel my order, I just quit. Would you like to quit now? Yes, and I quit. So, you know, 30 days later, I get my credit card bill, $22.50, oh my God, what the heck is this? So I wrote the company to get a refund, and they said, we have a 30-day money-back guarantee. When did you sign up? 31 days ago. I got ripped off. I, I, I was shocked. One week free. Yeah. They charge me one week less and for what, 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 what? This is underhanded. This is underhanded. When you see somebody's hand, it's, it's out here, it's in the open. Look at my hands and there's nothing tricky. But underhanded is that hand under here. Doing something, doing something else. Taking your wallet, taking your money. Sometimes the idea of being underhanded is bribing, giving somebody money so that you can get your way. Being underhanded is not a good thing. People who are underhanded are doing something with their hands where other people can't see and they're making the situation for them. They don't care about you. They don't care about your situation. It's about them making them money, making them powerful, making them popular, making them look good. If you want to be popular, if you want to be good, if you want to make money, do you have to do it in an underhanded way? In a sneaky, illegal, deceptive way? I hope not. Check out the dialogue. What happened to Brian? I fired him. Why? He was so friendly to everyone. The customers loved him. He did it to build his business. <gasps> he was running his own business? That's so underhanded. Yeah, this happens. This is a, this is a, a tricky situation, especially online. And I've had this situation. Um, I had a guy working for me for our English site and he was creating material. Uh, I had to give him access to lots of areas of our website and information and students. And he, uh, he stole the email addresses of my students. This is a long time ago, okay? It's, it's done, it's finished, um, everything is okay now. But this is a long time ago when I first started. Uh, he was really nice to me, and he was really nice to the students, and what he was doing was he was trying to get email addresses so he could sell his English products. I couldn't believe it. 
That was so underhanded. Yes, Shane. Oh, I love your program, Shane. Yes, I'll do everything for you, Shane. And actually, he's doing everything so that he can build his own business. There are underhanded people in the world. In every country, every culture, male, female, old, young, tall, short. Yeah, we have them everywhere. Be careful. Be careful of underhanded people. Uh, they're going to cause problems for you and cause stress for you. But how do you know? You never know. Usually, you don't know until it's too late. Do you have a friend who's sometimes underhanded? We all are. There are times when we are underhanded, that's for sure. You know, within the family, brother, sister, you know, the brother tries to get something, make the sister look bad. That's underhanded, too. But in business, in relationships, uh, that's not nice. In family, come on. If you got a brother or a sister, sometimes you got to be underhanded. <laughs> that's true. Can you give me an example of maybe when you were a little underhanded, uh -huh. or maybe when your brother or sister or business partner or somebody else was being underhanded. Yeah, it's a good expression. I want you to look up the word underhanded with an ED. Underhand? No, no, no. Underhand is like throwing like this. Underhanded. He was underhanded. She's being underhanded. And look in Google News. See if you can find some good examples. It's a good expression, but don't be underhanded. Uh, by the way, if you ask for my lessons, if you leave a message and ask for my DDM or PERF lessons, we do not ask for your credit card. Okay? So don't worry. We're not underhanded in, in business. No, we're not. <laughs> That's it. I gotta say thank you after you check out the dialogue a couple more times. What happened to Brian? I fired him. Why? He was so friendly to everyone. The customers loved him. He did it to build his business. <gasps> he was running his own business? That's so underhanded. What happened to Brian? I fired him. Why? He was so friendly to everyone. The customers loved him. He did it to build his business. <gasps> He was running his own business? That's so underhanded. What happened to Brian? I fired him. Why? He was so friendly to everyone. The customers loved him. He did it to build his business. <gasps> he was running his own business? That's so underhanded. You know, I... This is my job, and thank you so much for watching my videos. I do need your support. There are so many things I would love to be able to do, but it's impossible. I can't. I need to hire people. Uh, ah, and, and yeah, lots of dreams. But I need your support. Please. All it takes is $1 a month. That's all. $1 a month. If you can give more, that's amazing. That's fantastic. Two dollars, five dollars. We have several ways that you can donate, that you can invest. I want you to think of it as an investment. It's your education, so English education. A dollar a day, that's like three, a dollar a month, that's like three cents a day. You know, whatever. It's, it's very little. Uh, please consider it. Consider Coach Shane and Let's Master English, our community, as your education center. Uh, so, there, once again, there are many ways. You can do it directly on PayPal, but today I want to talk about Patreon, www.patreon.com slash Coach Shane. Uh, this is another area where you can uh, be part of the team that sponsors us, and you can see all the other different sponsors, and I thank you all from the bottom of my heart. So today, I need to thank you specifically, specifically to Chloe Chen. Thank you very much. I want to say... Uh, that whether it's one dollar, five dollars, or one million dollars, everything really matters, and I sincerely appreciate it. To Rogerio, Rogerio, and I'm just going to use the names that uh, Patreon sends me. Thank you so much, Rogerio. I hope my pronunciation is okay. To uh, these names get difficult. 
Marco Antonio. That's easy. Marco Antonio. Thank you very much, Marco. I don't want to miss anybody. To Miguel. Thank you so much, Miguel, for your support. To Alberto. Alberto. Thank you very much, Alberto. To Tamas Kovacs. Tamas Kovacs. Thank you so much, Thomas. And I know I have two more people. My email. Uh, three more people. To Hyunju Shin. Hyunju Shin, thank you so much. Kamsamida. I sincerely appreciate it. To Tanya. Tanya, thank you very much for becoming my new sponsor. Um, I think I have two more. And uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. yes. To Fanny. Vadrevu, Fani Vadrevu. I hope my pronunciation is okay. Fani, thank you very, very much. And finally, to Manabu Narita. Manabu Narita. Now, Manabu Narita, many of you, many sponsors, investors, are DDM members and or PERF members. Manabu is a DDM and a PERF member, and Manabu just increased his. Uh, support and Manabu, I cannot thank you enough. Thank you so much. Your support means everything to me. It tells me that I'm doing a good job. It inspires me and pays my bills so that I can keep going. And I promise I will keep going. So thank you so much, guys. I need your help. And every dollar matters. Every dollar counts. And every dollar goes to a good place. So thank you very much. You guys have a fantastic day. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.